Hello and welcome. The demo we're checking out today is Shard Punk Verminfall. Shard Punk Verminfall is not an easy game. You will run low on resources and you might feel overwhelmed by enemies during your first playthroughs. This is all part of the experience. As you play the game, you will unlock new skills, upgrades, and characters that might make the game easier. Okay. My Croft Valentine, a retired Imperial soldier, he's uh, seen some things in his life which might actually be helpful. Okay, starting party. Automatons? Support unit. The signature skill of this automaton is uh, the ability to enter a support no mode that creates an aura in which weapons do not generate heat and also receive other bonuses. Tilly Rexward wields a shotgun but prefers fighting with her trusted katana. Gideon Shaw, a skilled hunter, he can master the art of quick and effective Overwatch reaction shots. Julius Brick, an Imperial shock trooper equipped with a chainsaw integrated with his heavy weapon. Let's do this group. Sure. Difficulty normal, because I don't <laughs> I don't know what's gonna be going on at all. The capital was under siege for many weeks. The vermin horde was relentless, and Imperial reinforcements still hadn't arrived. Still, there was hope. A new kind of weapon, one that could turn the tides of the war, had just been manufactured in one of the capital's laboratories. Sadly, that happened too late. Under cover of night, enemies emerged inside the city from underground. The defenders were caught off guard, and the vermin flooded the capital. Nobody was safe. Capital, industrial suburbs, two hours after the attack. Better get moving. Welcome to Shard Punk Verminfall. Let's get you going, okay? You can use WASD keys to move the camera and mouse wheel to zoom in and out. The book icon in the top left of the screen allows you to access the codex. The codex holds useful information on how the game works. New entries will be added to it as you go. Your characters have two action points by default. You use AP to perform actions, including movement. Moving within the white rain you uses one and two AP within the orange. You move your character by clicking the right mouse button on a selected tile. Move to the highlighted tile now. Your character has spent one AP on this move. They have one AP left. Move to the highlighted tile. This will consume your last AP and your turn will end. Tiles marked in green and blue are interactable. Green tiles indicate places that can be searched for loot. All right, to the, to the green tile we go. Use the search action. Actions are displayed at the bottom of the screen. Select the action icon, then click the blue button to perform it. You manage to find some items. They have been added to your common inventory, which is displayed at the top right of the screen. 
As searching didn't cost any AP, you still have one AP left. Use it to move to the highlighted tile. There's a stress system. Vermin approaching, select the shoot action. With the action selected, you can switch through targets using tab or Q and E keys. You can also click on a rat head, on rat head icons or on enemies themselves. Kill one of the rats. Great shot, you have one AP left, use it to shoot another enemy. Note that you can also execute an action by pressing space or enter, or by tapping the action shortcut key. The remaining enemy managed to hit you. Note that melee attacks in Shard Punk always hit their target. Due to the shots you've taken, your weapon, your weapon's heat is now maxed out and it can't shoot normally. You can see your weapon's heat bar in the lower left. When a weapon is overheated, you can still perform a shot, but it's riskier. Select the shot action now. As you can see, overheated shots deal more damage, but have a chance to damage your character. Let's skip using it for now. Select and perform the vent action instead. Venting a weapon reduces its heat level to zero. You can now shoot the remaining enemy without a risk of a backfire. Well done, vent the weapon again. Let's move forward to the highlighted location. That one's got a gun. You've encountered a ranged enemy and right now you're exposed. Your character is not behind cover. Exposed or flanked characters have yellow shields displayed above them. Different map elements can provide a partial or full cover displayed as a half full or full shield. You can see that the rat shotgunner is behind partial cover. The better the cover, the harder it is to hit a target. Let's search for a better place to hide. When you point to a movement target, you can see that the cover types that adjacent elements provide if some of the shields are yellow it means that you'll be flanked move to the highlighted tile it will provide full cover thanks to the high cover the enemy had less chance of hitting you. Now it's time to flank them. Holding the Alt key will show you the potential hit rates coming from the highlighted location. Yellow percentage values means that the target will be flanked. You have a clear shot from here, shoot the rat. You scored a critical hit, critical shots deal more damage. Just to make it clear, critical shot chance is not related to flanking. Also, the rat has dropped something as a green highlight has appeared. Go and pick it up now.
You found a stim pack. Stim packs are items that are usable in combat. Every character has their own inventory of combat items. You can see it in the lower right part of the screen. You can also see the total numbers of combat items of every character you control at the top next to the common items. Stim packs can be used to heal your characters. Perform an action to use one now. Not much HP. The stim packs has temporarily the stim pack has temporarily healed your character's hit points. As you can see, the healed HP are displayed in a different color. Oh, I see. That's weird. Healed HP. HP healed in combat will be lost after the combat ends. You will have the means to take care of that later. Let's keep moving. Move to the highlighted location. This will consume both your AP. Your characters can set up reaction overwatch shots, which are triggered during the enemy's turn. Select and execute the overwatch action. It will automatically end your turn and use both AP for overwatch shots. Your overwatch reaction shot triggered only once despite having two charges why is that your weapon had only one heat point left when you used the overwatch action that's why the character was not able to perform more shots vent your weapon and finish off the remaining enemy i get it so it's like it was purposely making you make a mistake tactically to teach you that mechanic because we could have vented back here and then moved up and overwatched both but like vented here waited a turn moved up got their attention then overwatched but it purposely had us do the wrong thing you might have noticed that your character was gaining stress points on multiple occasions yes we did notice stress is one of the character stats that affects gameplay when maxed, it can cause your characters to panic or receive a negative trait. Consult the Codex for more details about stress. Move to the highlighted location. On my way. These rats have set up overwatch reactions. They will fire at you when you get too close. Note that your movement path preview displays an overwatch reaction warning icon, showing where you'll enter the enemy's overwatch range. Let's push your luck. Try to run toward cover. That was lucky the enemies missed all their attacks. Note that this was done for demonstration purposes. Regular combat may not be that forgiving. Yes, I, of course. Search this location for supplies. You found a grenade. Grenades are combat items that are good at dealing area damage. You should be able to deal with these rats using the grenade. Select grenade throw action from the bottom list, point to the highlighted title, tile, and execute the action using the right mouse button, space, or enter. This will show them move to the highlighted location. The automaton is all set up. We're good to go.
Characters can swap combat items when they stand next to each other. Move next to the other character. Click on the backpack icon located in the lower right to open the inventory swapping window. Transfer two grenades from one character to another by clicking the grenade icon. Good job. Passing combat items, just like picking them up, does not cost AP. You now have more characters under your control. You can switch the active character in the same way you switch targets with tab or Q and E. Alternatively, you can left click on them. It actually works when switching targets too. The game will open up more from now on and you'll gain access to more character actions. Remember that your goal is not to kill as many enemies as possible. Your goal is to escape the level. Try getting your characters to safety. Good luck. Where is safety? Maybe safety is this door? That is indeed where safety is. We've got a lot of attacks now. Round slam, bent weapon. New tactics discovered. Covering fire. Toggle, toggle Overwatch next to an overwatching ally. Reward characters in Overwatch get 20% more to hit. You have just uncovered a combat tactic that can now use you can now use to your advantage. There are multiple combat tactics waiting to be discovered. Check the codex for details. Automatons are controlled in the same way other characters are. If you lose your automaton, you lose the game, protect it at all costs. If your automaton's HP goes to zero, it's not an instant game over, you can revive it by using a fusion core. Consult the codex for more details on automatons. Okay, sure. Weapon support mode, all weapons in the area will not gain heat when fired and will gain 20% hit to 20% chance to hit plus two max damage. They're unable to move when in this mode. There they are. Supply crates are the only place where you can obtain an important resource upgrade parts. They can be used outside combat to upgrade your gear. Supply crates can only be opened by an automaton. Tiles that only automatons can interact with are highlighted in blue. Looting spree. Search for loot at least three times in a single turn. Reward looting is more effective for two turns.
Okay. Let's do this. We'll shoot him. Oh, that's right. She doesn't have... He's got the katana, but she does have a gun. Did not kill, though. Weapon boost? No, we won't use that. I didn't want to risk it. I didn't want to risk it with a 50% hit chance. This way we don't take extra damage. Okay, medical supplies. Let's do some venting. <laughs> that that looting spree bonus did nothing for us. Increased defense, sure. Oh, no.
Okay, we did it. Bring him on, kill five enemies in a single turn, reward plus two damage everyone for two turns. And I could have done the support thing, but I was not decided on where I wanted to move them. So I did not commit to anything with this guy yet. We're just going to get everyone in position for now. I want everybody to vent. Everybody to overwatch. Okay, we got the upgrade parts. Okay, nothing, nothing down this corridor yet. This one is big. Oh, that guy, that's a big rat. comes thumping along with his Gatling gun there's another one These two are probably like the, the big boss dudes of the area. Extra effort, hunker down.
I wonder. They can hit us from there. Discouraged. Chance to contribute no action points in shelters. By completing in-game achievements, you are able to collect unlock point medals. You can use these unlock points to unlock new characters, skills, and upgrades. Consult the codex for more details. Okay, but still, I don't want them here. Okay, they're they're almost to an area where I will actually fight them. No, this is not what I wanted.
There, we did it. Got a shard. And another shard. Back to the original. Oh my god, there's another one. We're doing this again. We're holding this hallway. Should we just get in there and fight this guy? Oh, this can hit from here? You'll switch targets for melee attacks the same way as for ranged attacks. Highlighted area around the enemy represents the possible locations where the attack will be delivered from. You execute enemy, you execute melee attacks by selecting a tile inside the highlighted area and confirming with right mouse button. So why not here? Oh no, wait, I see. I can go here and attack from. Chop and blast. Hit an enemy with a melee and ranged attack in a single turn. Reward, the enemy is stunned. What happens if I stun a stun target? Do I double stun them? I was gonna do that anyways, but...
katana combo. When activated the first two successful katana kills this turn, refund up to two AP. I see. So if I was fighting a bunch of little rats, that would come in handy, but we're not. Yep, that's more rats. ideal will his shot chance increase if I If I run over here, but if I run over here, I'm making myself a target, that's for sure. Did not increase after I moved her. Only one damage. That's terrible. And the second one missed. Only 50%. No, I shouldn't have moved here. It's okay. It was worth it. That's bad. I think his stress meter filled up. Yeah, that's real bad. Hey, he didn't die. That was real close. Panic. You know what? That's fair.
what to do. If we stay here, there's nothing really we can do. If we have to, if we move up, we're gonna be in the in the danger zone. Ninety percent, go for it. There's an upgrade station present on the map. Consider using it. It's the only way to level up your automaton. Okay. We got bigger fish to fry at the moment, though. Enter a weapon support mode. Oh man, I used the wrong thing. <laughs> Whatever. I confused myself, doesn't matter, it's fine. Oh no, there's more rats in here. There we go, that buys us a turn. Oh no, there's a big one. Adrenaline rush, use Stimpex to restore health for yourself or someone with one HP reward plus one action point for the person healed.
Okay, I'm debating whether or not I want to go here and shoot in or just here. Whatever, let's get in there. Okay, good. It took the bait and went after the targets that I hoped it would. The ones that were well defended. move too far and like trigger more rats but I do want to reposition so maybe we back up They're both going to come after this guy. Hopefully that's good enough.
Now or never. Hey! Oh god, there was backfire though. That almost killed him. But it was worth it. There's probably more of them over here. If I had to guess. Healing actually increases stress. Of course, of course, there's more rats over here. And a big one. Are they just spawning infinitely? They might be spawning infinitely at this point. I, I may have... Yeah, it did say that thing about not having to fight them all. That might be because they are infinite. But maybe not. But also, maybe so. I'm gonna go with maybe they're not infinite for now. That, that's gonna be my presumption. Unfortunate that I don't have a better shot on this guy. Worked out for the best. dead now dead look at that we did it
No more rats yet, but surely there's going to be more that pile out of this entrance. Whether or not there's any up here remains to be seen, but this is where the problem has been, so... We, we can go back up here and clear this area out too, but... Gotta deal with the problem areas first. You've found uh, your first fusion core. Fusion cores are combat items that have many uses. You can use fusion cores to deal massive damage to your enemies, revive your characters, or speed up the opening of bunkers. Consult the codex for more details. If you skipped reading the codex until now, it is recommended to at least read about fusion cores. No, <laughs> I'll, fig I'll figure it out, but thanks for the suggestion. No rats coming out of here. There they are. Only the big rat left. Stun grenade for the big rat. Katana slash for the big rat. Wow, okay.
Those things do spawn rats. It is just periodic. Why no chainsaw attack? Do I have to move up? It uses weapon heat. Let's try something crazy then. Okay, do we go back for the upgrade? Probably. We probably should. Give me the loot. Give me an overwatch. Cancel the support mode. Run over here. Possibly trigger more enemies. Nothing found. They can shoot through walls, apparently. Well, this is a good sign. Seems like there's no enemies up here. out of nowhere. Okay. Can 
Use the power station to unlock the unit's new abilities and restore its HP. The automaton is immune during this process. It's gonna take two turns, okay. Achievement pro progress, rat exterminators. We're pretty well, we're almost halfway there at least. Oh, he can just fire from there. Okay, that's terrible. He just fired through the wall at me, okay. And he ran toward the enemy for some reason. All right, fine. Forget this last little bit of loot. Let's just go to the exit. Since this guy is going to get down next turn now because of it. Because of whatever just happened. Here they come.
Okay, let's hope for the best. Yeah, that went pretty well. In order to finish the combat phase, you need to open the bunker door. The door can be opened using a fusion core or without it. The second option takes longer but allows you to keep fusion cores for later. Consult the codex for more details. Unlock bunker door immediately by powering it with a fusion core. One fusion core will be used for that. Yeah, take cover in the shelter, remove the character from combat. We did it. You managed to hide in the bunker and close the reinforced door from the inside. You are safe for a few hours. Now it's time to rest and suit up. After completing a mission, you can level up your characters. You're also rewarded with a team skill point after every mission, which you can use to purchase new team-wide upgrades. After, your, after you level up your characters, you will be able to advance to the shelter phase. Close this message to continue. Character has reached level four. You can now upgrade a skill. Other party members lose one to three stress and gain one to 10% chance to hit and one to five for defense plus one max armor every armor point decreases the character's defense by five <laughs> what maybe that should be increases that sounds like it's a bad thing Or maybe it's every armor point lost? Yeah, I didn't use the abilities like at all. Ground slam. Slam the ground with your heavy weapon. It ignores cover and always hits stuns enemies. Damage four to five, critical hit chance 20%. Yeah, that's pretty good. Puts the weapon in a boosted state, allowing the character to fire up to two free shots this turn. Cool down three turns. That's really good. I definitely should have been using that. <laughs> I just want them to have armor. Repairing automatons.
Wow, you could really go wild. If you were in good positioning and used this and you could do the first four, that would be pretty good. I just want the katana to be stronger. That's what, that's what I want her to do. Grenade Mastery, deal three to six damage instead of the default three to five. For every 10 enemies they kill, they lose two stress points. Provide a free combat action that grants an extra point to the character who uses it. Oh, this was also very good. This also was something I should have been using. I saw it on the bar, but I was like, what's that? Yeah, I want this more often. More stuns, the better. Grants HP bonuses to human characters. Unlocking this item makes this team skill available for upgrade. That's a free action to temporarily boost the movement speed of characters. Increase the number of action points during the shelter phase. Auto cooling. Free weapon vents during combat. That seems pretty nice. Adds a chance that all action points will be refunded after a shot. That's also very nice. Let's do this and uh, and this. Oh, and this is the Codex. It would take me a while to read through all that. That's the only reason I'm not going to do it. You've been told to take the automaton to the Imperial Palace before the vermin overrun this part of the city. Sadly, the closest bridge has been destroyed. You'll need to take a longer route via the Garcroft Bridge. This is the shelter phase. Here you can rest and prepare for the next encounter. There's a common pool of shelter AP that's shared between every character. By default, you get two AP for every character. You can switch the active character in the same way as in combat. You can see the actions available for the active character at the bottom of the screen. Some actions can be performed by any character, while others are character-specific. Select the Craft Grenade action now. He's gonna force me to craft a grenade. I would much rather heal them or something. An action's AP cost is displayed near its description. Some actions require resources in order to perform to be performed. An action's resource cost is displayed next to its AP. 
Use shelter actions to heal your characters, reduce their stress, buff them before the next combat, and craft combat items. If you found any upgrade parts during combat, you can use them in shelter to upgrade your weapon slash automaton. Click on the blinking upgrade parts indicator at the top of the screen. This will open the character detail screen. Every weapon has four upgrade slots that can hold one modification. Automatons have two upgrade slots. Spending an upgrade part allows you to add a modification to a slot. To add a modification, select a character, pick a slot, and you, and then use the install modification button. The button will become enabled after you go through this tutorial. Weapon modifications can be upgraded, but each upgrade costs one upgrade part more. So upgrading to level two costs two upgrade parts and upgrading to level three costs three upgrade parts. You can always remove a modification completely and receive a full refund of upgrade parts. Remember, modifications can only be changed in the shelter. Consult the codex for more details. Sure. We'll give it to him. Where's my medical supplies? Search for crates, search the shelves, craft a grenade, craft a stim pack, restore armor, rest. Okay, the purple makes me think that it's uh it's stress related. Distribute food? Oh, that's a different phase. This will finish the action execution phase and progress the game further. So this uses scrap and medical supplies to make a stim pack. Man. Yeah, I didn't realize what it was going to be like in between the battles. <laughs> like using all of my grenades and everything so frugally in that in that first one it's like well we sure are going to be short-handed in the next one but i'll know how to use my abilities so so there's that Okay, we got medical supplies from searching the shelves and crates. Okay, good enough, I suppose. Distribute food. 
Characters with food assigned will regenerate one HP or receive a dodge chance if dodge chance bonus if they're at full health. Okay. Choose your next destination. At the end of the shelter phase, you select your next destination. Your goal is to reach the final location of the chapter. By selecting a location, you can see its description along with its unique traits that can affect combat. Okay. Upper Drollmeek Factory. Longer distance, it will take more time to reach the exit. More loot, more loot is present at this location. Pret Hill Sewers. Less loot, less loot is present. Fewer vermin are present. Reinforcements appear more slowly. A special encounter with an extra award awaits you here. Well, let's go there then. You need to distribute all combat items to your characters before starting your next mission. Non-combat items do not have to be distributed. Okay. Eight hours after the attack. Let's get through here as fast as possible. Oh, that's the whole demo. Okay. I was just thinking, I was like, wow, if it lets us get all the way, like, to the, the destination we're trying to get to, it would be massive. But okay, yeah, that was a, even still, that was a pretty long demo. It was pretty fun. All right, well, that's what I'm calling it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.